two final things when it comes to the eyes. And we we'll go back to eye veins, and you can see a little bit of cloudiness in here. So if you get some of that, you can go under filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just look at the blur and dial it back. And it just kind of feathers off the selections a little bit and gives you a nice effect. The other thing that we're going to do, and we're going to drop this at the top of the layer stack of the eyes, is we're going to get another adjustment layer as a placeholder. And we're going to drop this in multiple blend mode as well. Inverse the mask. And we're going to call this eyeliner. And with the mask set up, I'm going to get white as my foreground color. And paint about 50% is fine. And you can notice that I'm going to just go through here and just add a little bit of eye makeup to her eyeliner on both of her eyes. Now one other thing that I would do is the very top I would add a uh, just a final retouch of the eyes and some things that I find a little bit of a distraction is this little white dot that I find on both eyes because it starts to lead to me thinking that something not right it's going on so I'm going to option click into this area of red and maybe jack up the percentage a little bit more maybe make that go away some of this and I might leave the other side just because for different sakes, you know, so now it looks different. And there you have it. There we have the eyes. Now, none of this is complete without balance. So now we look at the balance and we can, uh, well, I'll just pull this up a little bit so we can see all the layers we've created, which have been quite extensive. Um, and we can balance them out. So we know that the whites of our eyes are fairly bright. So we can go down here to the whites of our eyes, eye whites, and drop the opacity back. If we think her iris is a little bit too bright, we can go to the iris bright. I'm going to drop that opacity back. We've got control over every aspect, over her lashes, over, you know, if we don't want the thickening of her lashes to be so thick, we want to pull that back a little bit, we can pull that back. If we think the eyeliner is a little bit too much, we want to pull that back a little bit, we can pull that back. That's what this whole flexibility phase is all about, is to make sure that we've got good flexibility moving forward. So we're now with all of this, I'm going to select that and then go down to the bottom and shift select this, last one, pull off menu here, new group from layers, and this was going to be called the eyes. And now we've got a nice... change from one to another. So now we're going to move to the hair.